Hey, what's up, Table Time? Orlando here with another drill for you. It's straightening your stroke, right? So before I do this drill, I like to find any straight surface on the table. <coughs> Excuse me. The best example is where the rail meets the bumper. There's always just like a straight white line there. I recommend putting your cue straight over top of that line and just practicing your stroke. Each time you pull the cue back and bring it forward, the tip should come to rest right on that line. And just get comfortable not moving your bridge hand, not moving your body, holding everything still, and just consistently delivering the cue tip to that line. Maybe you do 50 reps like that. I also recommend that you do the same thing with the other hand. Because practicing with just one hand is something that will come back to bite you later on down the road. If you learn to shoot with both hands, it really can't save you in a pinch. So let's get into the drill. The drill is simple. You see here, I've got my table marked. You can go to your local office supply store and get those little paper donuts and then mark out a straight line between this corner pocket and that corner pocket. And then you wanna place the paper donuts on that straight line at each diamond. This is a progressive drill. The way I like to start this drill is, because I've done this drill before, I'll start with the cue ball at this first diamond and the object ball at that first diamond. You can start anywhere you want along the table, but this is where I like to start. There's one. After I make the first ball, I move the object ball back a diamond. the object ball back a diamond. Remember to chalk. Hey, on chalking, when you chalk your cue, when you chalk your cue, you're supposed to just brush the chalk on the top of the tip along the edges. I see people freaking drilling a hole in the chalk and getting the cue all dirty and leaving a bunch of extra chalk on the table. It's not necessary and it's less effective. Just brush the chalk onto your tip. the ball back a diamond. If you make that ball, we'll be back a diamond.
We're going to count that one. Just can't let that pocket fill up with balls. That's the drill. After you get to where you can do that drill pretty consistently, just pocketing the balls, then you can make it more difficult by adding top spin or draw or trying to play shape on other balls while doing this drill. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And tune in next time for another episode of Game Time.